and just after he retired, he developed tremor in his hands, and it's slightly worse in the left hand. He finds propranolol very helpful, and also, if he has a couple of glasses of gin or scotch, the tremor is very much better. Just hold your right hand out like that for me, and just spread the fingers wide. And now just turn the hand slowly round like that, so the thumb is pointing up at the ceiling. And now down again like that. That's very good. And now just hold it next to your nose like that. That's great. And relax again. And now with your left hand, just hold your left hand out straight ahead. Yeah. And now just slowly move it round like that. And back again like that. And now just hold it by your nose like that. And relax. That's good. And now with the other hand. Können Sie mal einen Ton halten, so Ah. Ah. Mhm. Gut. This is a 68-year-old lady with a long-standing head and voice tremor. Since eight years, she suffers from hand tremor, predominantly during action and goal-directed movements. She has a positive family history and no response to alcohol. Nur ganz langsam auf und ab bewegen die Hände. Ein bisschen langsamer noch. <lacht> Gut. Nochmal ablegen die Hände. Jetzt nochmal mit dem. Noch ein bisschen schneller mal. Gut. Nochmal mit der anderen Hand. Schneller. Ja, so ist gut. Gut. So, genau. Dass sie frei, dass sie frei schweben. Nicht den Hals, nicht das Kinn berühren, sondern so ein bisschen davor. So, genau. So ist gut. Und nicht, dass die Hände sich nicht berühren, sondern so, nur so, genau. Nur so einen Moment halten. This is a 52-year-old lady complaining about a feeling of unsteadiness during stance. She has no obvious tremor of the hands, walking and hopping is normal. The only clinical finding is a slight shivering of the quadriceps muscle during stance. On EMG, she has the typical 16 hertz pattern of primary orthostatic tremor.
He saw a half a seashell. He saw a half a seashell ambling along Rainy Island Avenue. Ambling along Rainy Island Avenue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. E. This is a 47-year-old lady complaining about her voice tremor. Tremor of the hands is very slight and only present during goal-directed movements. About 12 years. And it followed a bang to the head about three months later, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Just hold both hands straight out for me like that. And spread the fingers wide. And now just hold them like that with the elbows up. And just relax. And just put your hands like this. And just count backwards from 10, like 10, 9, 8, 7. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Very good. And I want you just to sing a note, hold a note like ah, uh, for as long as you can. Uh, and now the left one. Okay, and relax. And finally, just for the hands, just pop them both up like that again. This is a 46-year-old lady suffering from a writing tremor of the left hand and a postural tremor of the right hand which is exacerbated by writing. And relax now. And now just hold the right hand up straight. And just let it shake. And now just turn the hand up like this. And now back down again. That's very good. And now just hold it by your nose like this. Good. And relax now. And relax again. Slower now. That's very good. Uh, touch the corner of the chair 
and then the tip of that. And then a slightly so on the name for me again. As I normally do. As you normally do, yeah. That's very good. This varies every time, Dr. Bain. Yeah. You seem to have varying degrees of control of the something. Yeah. And now I draw a spiral. This is a 38-year-old lady who is suffering from a postural tremor of her right hand. The tremor is not completely blocked in full relaxation, but it clearly increases in a position requiring minimal muscle activation. Und wieder hochnehmen die Arme, so halten und wieder hinlegen. Gut, nochmal, mhm. nochmal. Das ist dasselbe mit dem Linken. Mhm. Jetzt mal die Finger so halten, so unter die. Gut. Jetzt nochmal einen Satz schreiben. Das Kind spielt mit dem Ball. This is a 44-year-old teacher with a four-year history of a slowly progressive abnormality during writing. There is no tremor under rest, posture, and kinetic conditions. However, during writing, he has an obvious pronation, supination type of primary writing tremor. Nochmal ablegen die Hände. Okay. Wieder vorhalten. Zeigefinger beiden Buch auf die Nase zeigen. 
Mhm. Nochmal. Nochmal. Einen anderen Finger. Spirale zeichnen. percussion instruments, particularly the snare drum. And the critical position is when the hand is half turned. Just very so yeah. You know, and just roll them back once again. That's great. Now just hold them straight out in front of you like that. That's good. And now with the thumbs just straight up at the ceiling. And now just like that with your hand, with both hands like that with your... Up towards your one. Yeah, exa exactly like that. And now with them at your face, just turn the thumbs up towards the ceiling. And then back again. That's great. And relax again. I find, found happened was uh, with pressure from the thumb, the stick started to wobble in the hand. This was a sort of virtually unnoticeable at first, but got progressively, progressively worse. As you can see, as soon as I put pressure on with the thumb, it uh, sets off the tremor. So that, and just very slowly rotate the hands again. In uh, the match grip position? Yeah, in the match grip position. Yeah. Right. And then back again. Just stop it there. Keep going there. So it really comes out about that. Yeah. And then just go back to the traditional grip and do that same exercise with a hand like that and just slowly <laughs> again. Difficult. It's so much worse with the traditional grip, I don't know. Yeah, it is. What it is. And, and again, as I say, as soon as I stop the, the pressure from the thumb, it stops. This is a 67-year-old patient with a two-year history of Parkinson's disease with slight left-sided rigidity and akinesia. His main complaint is his left-sided tremor occurring only under resting conditions. Nochmal die Hände vorstrecken. Jetzt noch ein bisschen langsamer. This is a 50-year-old lady with Parkinson's disease. Her complaints began with postural tremor of the left hand for more than five years. Subsequently, symptoms of akinesia, rigidity and rest tremor developed. She is now suffering from a rest and postural tremor of the same frequency. Der Arm vorhalten. Jetzt solche Bewegungen machen. Schön. Ich 
schön langsam, schön langsam, ganz langsam. Ja, sehr gut. Prima, danke. So, und jetzt bitte diese Bewegung noch mal machen. Gut, reicht, danke. So, jetzt bitte zunächst mit der rechten Hand. Nochmal rechts. Jetzt die Hände mal so. Mal so halten, ja. Und wieder ablegen. This is a 55-year-old patient with a 10-year history of Parkinson's disease. Tremor has been his major complaint during his first years. Fluctuations are now his main problem. Tremor occurs during on and off phases. The interesting point in this case is that rest tremor has a 5 Hz frequency, whereas postural and kinetic tremor occurs at 7.3 Hz, which is also shown in the power spectra at the end. This is a patient with a three-year history of rest tremor with a slight postural component of the same frequency. He has no akinesia or rigidity. However, a recent PET study demonstrated a reduced fluorodopa uptake in the striatum. Therefore, we assume that this is a form of Parkinson's disease. <laughs> Dann wieder ganz locker ablegen. Gut, jetzt. Ja, und dann mit der anderen Hand. Gut. Jetzt die beiden Finger mal so in der Mitte so vor ihn zusammenbringen. Genau. Wieder auseinander. Wieder zusammen. Wieder auseinander. Gut. Jetzt mal die Hände so ganz, genau, ganz langsam auf und ab. This is a 28-year-old patient who has been diagnosed to have MS four years ago. Her main complaint is a marked intention tremor of her right hand in combination with a gait ataxia. The typical amplitude fluctuations of intention tremor can be seen during the finger-to-nose test. Up 
muss man mit der rechten, dem rechten Zeigefinger im weiten Bogen auf die Nase fahren. Die Augen geschlossen oder offen? Kann sie ruhig aufhalten dabei. Nochmal. Gut. Und wir zusammen. Und mal so halten. Gut, und wieder auseinander. Ja. This is a 56-year-old patient who has suffered a brainstem trauma. He developed Holmes tremor 10 years ago and shows the typical combination of rest and intention tremor with a low frequency. In addition, he has also some postural tremor. At the time of recording this video segment, the patient is treated with anticholinergics and levodopa, which had a good effect on the tremor severity. Hände so ganz langsam auf und ab. Und einfach mal nur halten. Hände mal so gerade vorhalten. Gut, und wieder ablegen. Rechten Hand diese Bewegung hier. Ganz schnell auf und zu. Mhm. Das haben wir mit der linken Hand. Mhm. The following two cases have already been published in the Movement Disorders Journal video series. They illustrate the different palatal movements in essential and symptomatic palatal tremor. In case of essential palatal tremor, the roof of the soft palate is elevated due to activation of the tensor Vili palatini muscle. In case of symptomatic palatal tremor, the edge of the soft palate is moving due to activation of the levator Vili palatini muscle. This is a 41-year-old lady who has been suffering from arrest, postural and action tremor of the right hand in combination with muscle pain in the right shoulder girdle. During the examination, there is no consistent activation pattern. In addition, her hand tremor develops usually in combination with a slight co-contraction leading to a constant tiny dorsal extension of the hand. Under changing loads, the tremor amplitude often shows fluctuations in these patients.
jetzt die Hände mal so vorhalten. Und mal wieder ablegen, locker ablegen. Und nochmal vorhalten. Und nochmal ablegen. Die Nase. This 64-year-old patient has suffered from IgM gemopathy for 15 years. His postural and action tremor was slowly progressing during the last two years. Yeah, good. Okay. Und nun machen Sie es trotz allem mal mit einer Hand, auch wenn es plätschert. Mit der linken? Ja. Gut, an mit der anderen Hand. Alles geht ganz gut. Alles Jetzt. Klar. Gut. Oh, so war nicht so schlecht. Gut. So, Adele, jetzt mal bitte äh, so, ein, so eine Spirale von innen rausmalen. Mit immer größer werdenden. Oh, gar nicht so schlecht. So, nächste Seite. Nochmal mit der rechten Hand zur nächsten Spirale. Das war eben die rechte. Ja, ja nochmal mit der rechten Hand. Von innen raus, so wie eben. Ja, okay. Gut. Und jetzt das Ganze mit der linken, bitte. Ich bleibe Ihnen nicht zerspart hier. Ja, das geht. Das geht. Ja, schauen wir mal. Ja, weiter, 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 weiter. Versuchen Sie es. Da kommt dann schon was zu Wege. Wenn Sie es so schneller Sie werden, desto besser wird es. Okay. This 44-year-old lady was put on high-potent neuroleptics in the late 80s and developed involuntary movements of tongue and jaw in 1992, still on 6 mg Haldol per day. This movement disorder shows some typical features of tardive tremor. This occurs mostly in the morning. Um, when my head is on a pillow, it can go on for as long as two hours, and then I ache all around here, because the muscles are super. It comes and goes periodically during the day. 